next device comes from co-founder Steven Eidelman, and it's one of my favorite products of the past few years. The whistle is basically, wait for it, a Fitbit for your dog. The whistle then tracks their activity, their rest patterns, and soon will actually give you a GPS signal to help you locate your little friend. Having previously worked with Spectrum Equity and Warner Music Group, Steven and his co-founder were inspired to create Whistle through their love of both technology and canines. Ah, <sighs> a man after my own heart. If only I had a heart. So how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me and thanks for having Archie here to join us. He's very excited to be here today. What is The Whistle? We are really the first pet company uh, building smart products for pet owners. We primarily focus on helping pet owners take better care of their pets in terms of increasing their pet's health. We also, uh, one of our biggest missions is helping reduce the number of lost pets. Take a step back and just think about how many dogs even there are in the U.S. alone. How many? There's 80 million dogs in the U.S. There's 90 million cats. About two in three households have a pet. Out of those 80 million dogs, every year 10 million get lost. We're trying to end that once and for all. And uh, there are certain things that have, you know, certain technologies or solutions people have created, um, but nothing is really that effective. And GPS, we see as really the first technology, really the first opportunity for us to actually end uh, the loss of dogs. That's really the biggest thing we're focused on now is uh, the GPS piece is huge. I think the fact that still so many dogs get lost every yeah. single year. Uh, it's just unnecessary. A lot and of they do that like chip microchip. thing. Does the microchip actually track? So it's interesting. A lot of people, when we say, you know, we have this GPS product, you should check it out. A lot of people, their first reaction is, oh, well, I have a, a microchip, you know, in Archie or my dog Sasha, for example. Yeah. Um, but the challenge with microchips is it's a very passive technology. So that means, you know, he has to get found, taken to a shelter. At the shelter, they have to scan him. And the, they have to have a scanner. The database has to have, right, they may not even have a scanner. If they have a scanner, they have to have that scanner talk to a database that has to have your accurate information in it. It's very passive, and a lot of dogs, unfortunately, even that have microchips, don't get found. With the GPS product, you can open the app and immediately just tap a button and see where he is. What else does the whistle do? They are saying a Fitbit yeah. for your dog. So we started the company about three years ago. And uh, we started with our first product, which was the Whistle Activity Monitor. And that product focuses on tracking activity, rest, behavior, and really is actually very valuable for the pet owner, actually more than the dog, because it changes how the pet owner interacts with their, with their dog. And so it gives you a greater sense of awareness of, am I taking my dog out enough? Overall, what is their behavior like? You know, is my spouse taking the dog out? Is the dog walker doing their job, et cetera? And it creates this overall awareness for a family around what's actually going on with the dog and how can I improve their, their well-being and happiness and health. What we're trying to do is just give you information to help you take action. Do they know how to work it? The dogs? Yeah, the dogs. The dogs don't have to do anything. They don't have to do it's anything? It's all on the humans. We still have to do all the work. Pet tech is obviously growing. I heard there was just a pet tech conference. We participated. There's a great company based in the Bay Area called PAC. Um, and so are the humans founder allowed to go? Megan, she started the conference. Humans are allowed to go. There actually were only a you couple dogs at the conference. You don't just drop off the pets. Turns out dogs don't love conferences. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was great. We got we you know I think a lot of the companies that we really respect in this space were all there, and it was really in inspiring to hear from companies uh, that are focused on you know uh, dog sitting or on uh, other types of products like remote cameras to track your dogs when you're away. You know, and then obviously we participated. Uh, a lot of other companies that are really innovative around how they you know deliver products to you or deliver food to you and things like that. So what's the future? of pet technology. Well, so from our perspective, we're very focused on actually having the relationship with you, the pet owner. If we can help you understand your pet better, understand what you should do differently, um, and just in general have a better relationship with your pet, and what, what that really means is just being more connected to your pet. Where Whistle is going is, you know, we want to continue to develop these smart products that go on your dog's collar primarily, but in general, we want to build a lot more than that. We want to help tap into when we have that relationship with you, and we're giving you really valuable information about your dog that otherwise you would never have access to, whether that's around nutrition and help give you guidance on should you be feeding Archie twice a day and what type of food, um, or also maybe connecting you to your vet. Show me the whistle. Sure. Show Archie the whistle. Archie, here's your new whistle, activity monitor. We take design very seriously. We want to build products that people are proud of and want to right. put on their dogs. I think one thing we're really focused on is building a brand. I think in, you know, in today's world, we really associate ourselves with brands uh, that we really like and resonate with us in terms of values, and, and design's important. And so we want to build products that you, you actually would want to use yourself. This device locks in very easily to the attachment that Archie is wearing, which is right here. Oops. And so the dogs could just wear it all the time. They can wear it all the time, except when you have to take it off to charge it. Okay. So it lasts about 10 to 14 days on Great. a single charge, and it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Can I put it on myself? You can. I'm curious well, what that looks. It looks great. It looks it's really good. nice. It goes very nicely with the pink shirt. Oh, Archie and I have the same size neck. Should I bark? Will it work if it, I bark? It, will it work? Yeah. It will. 
Ruff. I don't know what you mean by does it work. <laughs> do you want to bark? But you did just bark. How do you bark? To me. How do I bark? <laughs> yeah, how do you bark as a dog? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's how my dog barks. That's how my dog barks. Well, Archie, I think this belongs on you, clearly. Can't you just tell? He's like so excited right now. Yeah. Um, well, so should he walk around? What do you think? 